how to pay yourself from your LLC. What's up everybody, it's Sherman the CPA and today I wanna help you pay yourself correctly from your LLC. A lot of business owners I work with don't really understand the tax implications of paying themselves from their business as well as how much they should be paying themselves in general. And today I am going to clear all of this up by explaining, number one, the different types of LLCs, secondly, how LLCs are taxed, third, the cash flow implications of paying yourself from your LLC, and then finally, the best way to pay yourself from your LLC. So if you own an LLC and you need some clarity in these areas, go ahead and click the like button below and stick around for the full episode for easy and simple guidance. All right, so first we need to address the different types of LLCs and how they are taxed. There are single member LLCs, multi-member LLCs, LLCs taxed as partnerships, as well as LLCs taxed as S corporations. Now, how you pay yourself from your LLC and how you file your business tax return will vary based on the type of LLC you are. So let's clear this up real fast, starting with the difference between the various types of LLCs you may operate as. Let's start with the single member LLC. So legally, when you start an LLC as the sole owner, meaning you have no other partners, you are a single member LLC. Now, single member LLCs are taxed as sole proprietorships, which are just unincorporated businesses. Basically, there is no tax difference between between a single member LLC or a sole proprietor. You just legally have more liability protection. So how does this differ from a multi-member LLC? Well, a multi-member LLC is just an LLC with partners. It is generally taxed as a partnership in which you file a partnership return when you file your taxes. Just like single member LLCs, there are no major tax differences between a partnership and a multi-member LLC. The LLC just provides you with more legal protection. Now let's talk about an LLC taxed as an S corporation. Your single member LLC or multi-member LLC can elect to be taxed as an S corporation. Now, an S corporation is a tax status. It is not a legal entity. So when your LLC is taxed as an S corporation, there are major tax differences. And typically, the primary reason why LLCs elect S corp status is to avoid the 15.3% self-employment tax. Both single member and multi-member LLCs are subject to this tax unless they elect S corp status. And generally, S corp status is recommended to LLCs earning over 50 thousand dollars per year in income. Now, although S Corp status has major tax benefits, they also have more tax rules. But the biggest rule being that shareholders of S corporations must take a reasonable amount of compensation subject to payroll taxes for the work they do in their business. So the first step to paying yourself from your LLC correctly is to identify how your LLC is set up tax-wise. Is it a single member LLC taxed as a sole proprietor, a multi-member LLC taxed as a partnership, or an LLC tax as an S corporation? Or do you wanna become an S corporation tax wise? Anyway, let's talk about how taxes work for LLCs regardless of the type of LLC you operate. So let's start with the basics. In any business, the money you receive is considered taxable by the IRS. And all the expenses you incur to operate your business are deductible so long as those expenses are reasonable and necessary to run and operate your business. So to find your taxable income as an LLC, all you would need to do is take your business revenue minus business expenses to arrive at your business taxable income. And you will pay taxes on your business taxable income. And the three main types of taxes you will pay is number one, federal income tax, number two, state income tax, and number three, self-employment tax, unless you are an S corporation. Now, it is important that you know that the money you pay yourself from your business as an LLC is not an expense unless you are an S corporation. LLCs tax as sole proprietors and partnerships are considered pass-through entities, meaning that the money your business earns is considered your personal income regardless of if you pay yourself or not. 
which also means that the payments to yourself are not tax deductible. What you pay yourself will be irrelevant for tax purposes because when you are taxed as a sole proprietor or partnership, the IRS considers you and the business one entity. You are considered self-employed, which is why these entities pay self-employment taxes, whereas corporations are considered separate from their owners and also why shareholders of corporations do not pay any self-employment tax. So for example, let's say your business is taxed as a sole proprietor or partnership and you earn $100,000 in profits, but you do not take a penny out of that business. Well, guess what? you are still going to pay taxes on the full $100,000 in income that your business earned. But what if you pay yourself 50,000 out of the $100,000 in income? Well, you would still pay taxes on the full $100,000 in income. This is because your business income is considered your income. So what you pay yourself from your business is irrelevant. This also means that the money you pay yourself is not tax deductible as a flow through entity. Since you and the business are considered one, the money you pay yourself is not considered an expense to the business. But when you are an S corporation, this is a little different. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So when you are taxed as an S corporation, there are two ways you will typically pay yourself. Number one, you will take a salary for the work you do inside of your business. And then number two, you would take a distribution from profits for your ownership stake in the business. So when paying yourself wages from your S Corp, this is considered an expense to the business, which means you can use your wages that you pay yourself as a tax write-off for the business. But the distribution of profits you receive for your ownership stake in the business is not deductible. You will pay tax on your share of the remaining business profits. Let's look at an example. So let's say you owned 100% of an S corporation and earned $100,000 in the prior tax year. But let's also say you paid yourself $35,000 in wages as a reasonable compensation. Well, the $35,000 in wages you took from the business would be subject to payroll taxes and also deductible from the S Corp's income, leaving $65,000 in profits left to be allocated to its shareholders. Now, since you are the only shareholder, then you will be taxed on the remaining $65,000 in profits, regardless of if you distributed those funds to yourself or not. But also keep in mind that you would not pay any self-employment tax on the remaining $65,000 in profits, which would actually save you about $9,945 in self-employment taxes. So that's how taxes work on the different types of LLCs. Now let's talk a little bit more about paying yourself. All right, so whenever the topic of paying yourself from your business comes up, I always ask my clients to exercise caution. Specifically, I want them to consider how paying themselves may impact their business because cash is the lifeline of any business. Businesses die when they run out of cash and it normally takes cash to grow a business if that is a goal of yours. So when you pay yourself from your business, ask yourself these questions. Number one, how much cash does my business need to continue to operate for the next three months? Number two, can my business use this money better than I can? Or in other words, will I have a higher return on the money if I reinvested it back into my business or used it personally? And number three, how do I plan to use the money I pay myself from the business? Will the money be used to pay for my bills or will the money just sit idle in my personal bank account? These are just some of the things that you should consider. Reinvesting money back into your business may be extremely beneficial, but also present some risk if your business or investment does not pan out. But on the other hand, paying yourself from your business lowers your risk by putting money back into your pocket, but you also want to make sure that you have a plan for how that money will be used. Ultimately, you can pay yourself however much you want from your business, but ultimately understand the impact that it may have on your business or your personal life. Now, here are the steps I typically recommend anyone to use when paying themselves from their business. Step number one, leave three months of operating expenses inside of your business. Now this is your safety net. If you always leave three months of operating expenses in your business, then you will probably be able to stomach any sudden or unexpected expenses that might come up in your business. Step two, 
put aside money to pay your estimated taxes. As an LLC, you are required to estimate the amount of taxes you will pay each year and make quarterly payments to the IRS for those amounts. This is not optional and you can be assessed penalties or late fees for failing to pay your estimated taxes. So put yourself on a schedule to pay your estimated taxes quarterly and leave that amount in your business account or an account set aside for taxes. Step number three, put aside money to reinvest in your business. Again, if your goal is to grow your business, then the chances are that it's going to cost you some money to do this, especially if you wanna grow your business quickly. So whether that's upgrading your equipment, hiring employees or consultants to help you, or developing some type of software or process, just be sure to leave this dollar amount inside of your business. And step number four, everyone's favorite, pay yourself everything that is left. If you have money set aside for the first three things, then go ahead and rob the bank of everything that's left. It's your money, you earned it. You can pay yourself however you want, with a wire transfer, check, cash withdrawal, or any other method of your choosing. Now, of course, as an S-Corp employee, you do need to pay yourself a salary through a payroll system. But when it comes to distributing your profits for that S-Corp, you can do that however you would like to. By the way, if you wanna learn more about tax avoidance strategies like electing S-Corp status and several others that can put thousands of dollars back into your pockets, check out the link in my bio for a special discount to my tax savers course that can help you do this. Anyway, thank you for watching everyone and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode here. Let me know what you think in the comments below.